Welcome back to join with us as we probe into the book of Proverbs. And I don't know if you've ever jumped into that before, but that's what we've been doing. <laughs> kind of a deep dive yeah. in the respect of not looking at every verse, but looking at a number of verses. And today we're in chapter 21 and verse 13. And I'm just going to read out of the Passion Translation. It says this, If you close your heart to the cries of the poor, then I'll close my ears when you cry out to me. Yeah. Wow. Good. That's quite a statement. Yeah. You know, and God's kind of cut and dried in that kind of yeah, statement as well. Yeah, he? he is. He, uh, God really cares about the needy, you know, yeah. and, and sometimes I think you look at that word poor and the cries of the poor, and I sometimes think of like this, I get this medieval picture of people in rags <laughs> and like, you know, destitute, where I don't think that's the case. I think, I think it's a little bit broader than that. Mm-hmm. And, and my wife and I, we have really tried to do our best uh, with st- stewarding our money because again helping the poor isn't always money right but sometimes it is and, mm-hmm. and sometimes you can't you know just go do something for somebody in africa but you, right. you can send money to to aid them with other people that can't so so money is important as it yeah. as it pertains to helping people so we've really tried to do our best with how we steward our money and not just look at our bank account and say okay that's mine and i'm going to spend it how mm-hmm. i want and, or mm-hmm. i'm going to go off and buy a new car well maybe god wants you know, the needy family in the church that you go to, right. to have a new car. Maybe yeah. you're supposed to bless somebody else with, with the blessing that God has yeah. given you. You know, sometimes even just passing down clothes from, from kids to kids. Yeah. You know, wash right. them first, by the way, <laughs> you know, before you give them to somebody else. <laughs> but, you know, just passing on things like that can be a tremendous mm. blessing. Yeah. Or a crib or other things like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know, that pertain with kids themselves to somebody else that's needing it. I know in our family we've done that with between our kids and they've done it with other people within their lives. Yeah. And it can be a great blessing that you have. It isn't always trying to take away from what you may have because say I feel guilty and I need to help somebody and all. Right. But it may be things that you have that you're not using at the moment and that you can pass on to somebody else that can use it so good and yeah. a blessing that way yeah. so it's a consideration that you just make yeah it says in acts that they shared everything amongst the believers mm-hmm. and it was just kind of this this open door policy like hey if you need if you need a coat I, you i've got you so let's pray into that yes lord we thank you that um you have blessed us especially here in america lord we mm-hmm. sometimes overlook that fact that yes. lord this country has been so blessed because of the foundation biblical foundations that's been built upon but mm-hmm. god we ask that you'd help us be intentional uh, that we wouldn't be um, stingy that we wouldn't be hoarders but god we would freely give just mm-hmm. as you freely given to us that we would love our neighbors around us lord help us be generous just like you've been generous to us we bless you today lord in jesus name Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. We hope to see you next time.